You know what? It's up to us. You have to have your dentist examine you for oral cancer. It's our job. It really is. Do you know that 25% of new cases diagnosed are not in high-risk groups. They're not smokers. They're not people that use alcohol. They're people who really shouldn't have oral cancer. So you really need to make sure your dentist diagnoses it because early diagnosis is the key. I want people home just to see what we talk about when we say the tonsils became afflicted with cancer. So in the back of the throat on either side are the tonsils. Those are the green fluorescent things that are lighting that are now red and that's the HPV virus basically attaching to the tonsil and ultimately it causes cancerous changes in those cells which leads to your devastating diagnosis but one of the things that we talked about is you know it needs to be screened for by your dentist because otherwise it's difficult to pick up. Basically what we do is we incorporate this into their hygiene appointment. So when they come to get their teeth clean, we have a machine called the Velscope, which we'll demonstrate in a minute, in all the hygiene rooms. And we do an oral cancer screening every time the patient comes to our office. So tell us about this because your, your symptoms were a sore throat. Not even the sore throat, that went away. It, I, it was really a painless condition. And it looked normal. The, the tonsil was large, but it looked normal. Well, so here's the scary this? thing. You know, there are three times as many cases of oral cancer as there are cervical cancer. And it's really hard to see. When you look in the patient's mouth, you don't always see this. It's not visible to the naked eye. There was a system that was out for a while where you use these dyes and rinses and all that. But they were, they were messy and hard to use. The Velscope's really easy. It's basically a light, and we shine this light in the mouth. In fact, we're going to get Dr. Drew to demonstrate this for us here. And so Bill, we push you... this little light here, and we move the tongue aside. Most of oral cancer is on the base of the tongue. And when I look through this light, what I can see is I see a fluorescent green on the natural tissue. But any dark tissue is precancerous or cancerous or something suspicious that we need to look at. Thank you so much, Teresa. <laughs> As a patient, when you go to your dentist, if they don't do that, you should ask them, would you please examine me for oral cancer? And ask them to use the Velscope. I think this is really the best system on the market today.